This video is for any construction managers or construction business owners who want a simple, easy to use Excel pricing model for estimating your jobs. It's going to be linked in the video description for free, so just click on the link and you can download it for free. But in this video, I'm going to take you through how to use it. Now, I personally like using Excel for estimating for a couple of reasons. The first, you don't have to pay for expensive estimating software. A lot of the functionality you're probably never going to use. The second is that it's easier to share with people so they can review it. So say you do an estimate for someone and want to send it for them to check or touch up, you can just quickly send it as an email. They don't need any special software to open it. So in this video, I'm going to go you through our estimating spreadsheet that we've created that we use for pricing our jobs. And basically the way it works is you can, so you get a bill of quantities or a pricing schedule from a client. And enter the bill of quantities into the spreadsheet. We've written a macro so that for each item in the bill of quantities, you can set the spreadsheet to create an individual pricing tab where you can do the buildup of labor, plant, materials, and subcontract costs. Price them all together. There's tabs for your indirect costs, so you're recurring and non-recurring. Also a tab for your risk and opportunity. You can add a markup, and that gives you a pricing schedule that you can submit to your client. Okay, so I'm going to quickly fly through how the spreadsheet's set up. You have our WBS, or Work Breakdown Structure tab, which has your bill of quantity items, which for any job you can change and set as you please. In the priced item column, you put a Y for each of the items you want pricing sheet created for. You then have your indirect costs, so your reoccurring, so your ongoing costs, but also your one-off costs and then your risk and each of these gets a tab and then you can just put a markup percentage to a profit markup and it gives you your total price there's two columns there's the cost column and then there's the marked up price so it'll put the markup on these items and then say you want to submit this to a, a client you could just simply send them the priced item column and the priced items so we'll go through these tabs. So you've got your sample individual pricing sheet. So this is just a template sheet that you can adjust as you please. So say you're doing a lot of repetitive tasks, you could set up this sheet so each of these tasks has different resources. And on the pricing sheet, you can put in your description, your resources, which are gonna come from the resources tab, and then your quantities and do your calculations. So on the resources tab, you enter in all the different resources you'd use to price a job. So materials. So this is for a concreting job. So we've got formwork, steel reinforcement, concrete, engineering, a supervisor, a crane, telehandler. So all the different resources that you'd build up to price your project. And then we've also got rates. And then we've got all our individual pricing sheets. So these are linked to the items in the work breakdown structure. So we've got our indirect costs. So for example, if we want to add engineer, so I just quickly find that management labor engineer at $80 an hour, and we want to include a hundred hours, comes out $8,000. Basically this just updates these rates. So that makes sense. So it's all the different tabs. So what you should do when you're first setting it up, go through the resources tab, enter all the resources you want to use on your project. And then basically it'll be set up for your estimating your project. So I'm now going to go through, I'm going to, I'm going to price the sample job with it super, super, super quickly. So you can see how it all works and then you can basically take it and use it for yourself. So the sample project we're going to be pricing is the formwork reinforcement and concrete placing. So the supply and installation on just a basic bridge abutment. So if you can see this drawing, it's just an overview of the abutment. We're not going to include any of the excavation or piling. I want to do it really, really fast and simply. So I'm probably going to make some mistakes, so don't be too harsh on me. And yeah, we're just going to price the concrete works. I'm not going to do a quantity takeoff because this is videos about how to use the spreadsheet so we're going to go through pricing formwork the blinding steel fixing and all these items so you can see just a basic bridge abutment there's some pedestals that the beams sit on and then some wing walls and we're going to assume a client has given us a full bill of quantities so this is the bill of quantities they've given us so you can see they've given them different items different activities different quantities so blinding two meters cubed the abutment formwork 185 meters squared 17 tons of reinforcement 114 cubic meters of concrete now i know typically 
they wouldn't give you this much detail. We'd have to go do our own quantity takeoff. But for the purpose of this, I'm just making it really easy for myself. So the first step you would do is enter this bill of quantity items into the spreadsheet. So if I, can you imagine, I've already done it for this job, but if you could imagine, you just copy and paste those items here, the quantities, and then for each of these bill of quantity items, so each of these activities, we want to do an individual cost builder. So the important step is when you first get the spreadsheet, you have to put a Y in this priced item column to tell the spreadsheet to create a new tab for all of them. So for example, if I had no Ys here and I click reset spreadsheet, but only one Y here, I only get one tab. That's the supply and install blinding tab. And you notice these two items are already on tab because on the original sample sheet, I've left these two of So I'm gonna take them off. So I'm gonna get a blank pricing sheet. I'm gonna tick that I want all of these items to create a sheet. And then you press the reset spreadsheet button and the macro is gonna create all of these tabs. The name of these tabs is gonna be the name you put in this column. So it's gonna be one to 10. Okay. So now I'm just going to fly through and price all these items. And as I said, I'm probably going to make some dumb mistakes, but I've, I've left that one in there again. So clean that. And then I'm just going to quickly reset the spreadsheet. So then all of them should be blank now. So spline install binding. So we're going to need concrete. This quantity is from the bullet quantities, two cubes of concrete. And let's just say two concreters, one shift to place. And so we're gonna need, so we'll say site labor concreter, two for an eight hour shift is 16 hours. And they will need concrete tools at a rate of $14 per meter cubed. So that gives us, and these rates we've all come up with, so you'd have to do this for yourself because these are obviously gonna be applicable to where you work and what sort of projects you're working on. We're getting $2,000 for the supply and install of the concrete blinding. So we just do a sanity check on our front page. Spline install blinding, activity one, two meters cubed, $2,000 total, and it's given a unit rate of $929. So let's go and do the rest. So formwork. So we'll just, again, I'm gonna make some mistakes when I do this, but I'll just go fast. 185 meters squared of formwork. We need consumable as well at five dollars a meter squared. We need, let's say one man hour per meter squared. Place and strip again. Don't question these assumptions; they're just all made up. But that activity formwork, formwork supply, one man hour per meter squared to place and strip. It's probably. An aggressive assumption, I like that. Say that like that. Two man hours per meter squared. A bit more realistic. So that's the total for that activity. You see 40 grand is the total, so $225 a meter squared. And I'll just quickly do this. So materials, steel reinforcement, $1,200 a ton. And then for you just use a subcontractor for steel fixing. Subcontract. So we got a rate from a subcontractor of $950 a ton. Then there we go, 36 grand for that. Then the concrete, we just need materials. Concrete, $300 a meter cubed. You're gonna need, so it's at 114 cubes, so it will say eight. Because it's, if you look at the drawing, there's an apartment and then a wall behind it. We'll say it's done with two pours. So two concrete pours. First pour is six concrete, uh, I'd say eight concreters. And second pour is four concreters. Now in this description column, I'm just writing notes. So if anyone wants to review it, they know what we've done. So sorry, not materials, we want. Um, Concreter, so what is it? Two by two pours, so 80 man hours on the first pour and 40 on the second, so 120 man hours. 
Also going to need a concrete plant, so I said concrete tools. And we're also going to need a boom pump for two ships. There we go. 50 grand for the concrete placement at about $400 a meter cubed, which sounds about right. Now let's do the same for these, because it's the same activities. I'm just going to copy the sort of formwork. Beautiful which I know is incorrect because it's a wall, so we'd need scaffolding and things, but again, I'm just being lazy. And just copying. Reinforcement, just gonna be lazy. Copy. Concrete, again, I'm just going to be... Well, the wing walls is a lot less concrete, so it's just going to end up being 50 cube. We'll say two ships for concrete. So say 80 man hours, 50 meters cube of concrete. We'll pull $700. 20 for the boo. What's that come out of? 28 grand. Cast in pipes, so this was the installation of these pipes here. We'll just say two man hours for each pipe. We'll just call them the site laborer. I'll probably put that number spawn worker. Equals four man hours. These pedestal blocks, so forming and pouring all these blocks. Again, you could if you work it out properly. I'm just going to say four man hours per block, and two, and say each block has one meter, no, nah, put less than that, 0.5 meters cubed of concrete. Should I say, yeah, and site labor, concrete, and obviously I'm missing the formwork and stuff in this, but. Just doing this really, really simply and quickly. See, so more to show you how the spreadsheet works rather than to come up with an accurate estimate. And the restraint block, so it's just to set it out, we'll say those are a bit bigger. So I'll say 10 man hours each, and we'll say they have one meter cubed concrete. So we'll say. And like that, I've done the direct costs. And so if we go back to the work breakdown structure tab, you can see all these rates have built out. We've got 200 grand total direct costs. Okay, now we've done our direct costs, we've done our indirect costs. So indirect costs are the costs of supervising, managing, overseeing a project. They're the costs of everything you have to do to do the work, but isn't directly related to a billable item. So it might be things like a telehandler, supervision, management, these sorts of things. So indirect costs, we've got our reoccurring, our one-off and our risk. So reoccurring ones are gonna be driven by our program. So you need to put in the duration for the program. So you say something like, for this maybe 10 weeks, but you need to do that by creating a proper schedule or going off the client schedule. Our one-off indirects might be two so it might be a mobilization and demobilization but you can just leave it as one and then risk is a one and then like we priced our direct costs we're just going to go through and do a build up of our indirect costs so if we look at our one-off indirect costs we might have mobilization the site so maybe a supervisor for a week getting everything set up so 40 hours of a supervisor and delivery of materials, float in telehandler. So I'm gonna put these under these materials, miscellaneous. You could, you could even create a resource for freight if you wanted. And then I'll just put that under miscellaneous plan. This is plan miscellaneous, 4,000. So that's gonna be to float in and float out. In red costs, so we got a 10 week construction program so basically what are the resources we're going to be using so maybe we got a late and 
a 50% of project engineer and a full-time supervisor. So put in management notice, there we go, supervisor. And we'll go 40 hours a week, 10 weeks, so 400 hours. And let's say 20 hours a week to 10 weeks. Maybe we have a telehandler. So for 10 weeks and operator from telehandler. So this is for moving all the materials around on site. So site laborer general. And I mean, this is excessive if it's just one abutment, but as an example, and what's that coming out of? So hundred grand in recurring indirects and risk. Maybe we just put in a hundred man hours. So risk, you can look at how much weather you're expecting. Depends whether the inclement weather's on you or the client's taking on that risk. We'll just put in, uh, what is it? Slight labor, general labor, 100 hours. And then we go back to the WS and you can see our total indirect costs are 122,000. Next, we put about a markup percentage, so that's 10%. And any corporate overhead, so if we've got $10,000 of corporate overheads, with 10% markup, our total sell price for the so our total cost, looking at the directs plus the indirects, is 351 grand. Sorry, plus the corporate overhead, so 351 grand, which is that total down there. And our marked up price for the 10% margin is 387,000. We could make that a 20% margin, so 422. You can play with that, and then. We've also got our column with our marked up prices. It really depends how you're gonna fill out your client pricing schedule. You could send them the marked up prices and the billable items. You could just send them the total. It depends how much you're breaking it down for your job. As I said, if you wanna download the spreadsheet, just click on the link in the description. It'll take you to our website where you can download it for free, nothing to charge. And if you are a construction business owner and do all the estimating yourself, you feel it feeling busy, overworked, and you want help outsourcing some of this work, in that case, then just get in contact, send us an email, and we'd love to hear from you. And if there's any way we can help you out with some of your work, if not, just use the spreadsheet. I hope you enjoy it. And thank you very much for watching.